seventh grade, actually. He does not remember this. He'll tell you he doesn't. All right, so well, there's like two different stories. There's her story, the star-crossed lovers at the ripe age of seventh grade. We met um, during swim practice, actually, in seventh grade. He was actually, um, we were 12, so I mean, he was dating one of my friends, actually. And so she introduced him to me, and um, I was like, oh, hi. And so we shook hands, and I've known him ever since then. Um, we didn't actually, like, start dating until we were in high school. Earliest memory I have is like we swam together maybe in seventh grade or eighth grade. Um, so she says she's been in love with me ever since then, but I say it was like eighth grade, ninth grade when she had the Dan McCormick fan club. But then we started dating a little bit freshman year of high school. Then sophomore year of high school, we like had a dating ever since sophomore year of high school. about her is her unforgiving heart. Um, there's things that I struggle with that people in my life that either I've cut out or just don't go out of my way to talk to anymore that she'll just, you know, she gives them the benefit of the doubt she keeps with them uh, just because she loves that person so much and like I said, her unforgiving heart and um, it's something that I, I try to learn from every day. When he's laughing, I think like when he has fun, that's like, that's my favorite thing, like to see him smile and laugh and joke around and stuff. I'm looking forward to most today just celebrating with like all of our friends and family. I'm really excited about that. But as far as the future, I'm just um, I'm just excited to be able to spend every day with him and build a life together. What am I most excited about today? Um, marrying the love of my life, actually saying I do um, in front of her family, in front of my family, in front of our friends. Um, it's just. Uh, one of the most exciting days of our lives to this point and uh, I know she's done so much planning that today we both get to enjoy all of her hard work and I get to see her be at her most beautiful so that's what that's one of the things I'm looking forward to this day. I would launch a thousand ships her letter uh, was from three parts of it. Her first part was from uh, November 14th, 2011. So we had been dating for like, I don't know, nine months then. And um, she knew then that we were gonna be married. And throughout her letter, she was, you know, there was 15 year old Sadie talking, then it moved up to to 18 now than yesterday, so 21 year old. It was just, I was thinking, you know, she's looked forward to this day for so long, and it's like, holy cow, why, how'd you know so young when it took me a while? So uh, I was kind of heartfelt, got a little teary eyed, and 
told myself, don't cry, Dan. So I didn't cry. feel nervous for sure. I guess I'll just be really excited to get down the aisle and marry him, I guess. Just, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. So. Waiting to see you walk down the aisle with your dad and see how beautiful you look. Uh, and I love you and I'm ready to start the rest of our lives together.
be my lucky day When the stars align and clouds have gone away It's gonna be my lucky day When the stars align and clap